yesterday. Okay, 5 a.m. Got up at 4. We're in the car. We're headed to Phoenix. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. David Herzog. Okay, Stephanie Herzog. We're going there, and um, wow, yesterday was three shoots all day long from the crack of the morning till the night, and so here we go. Pray for us. We got we got this. We're going to do it. It's awesome. This is what we do. Hey! You. Here we go. Okay, so Nikki Vandervist Hazen was on the broadcast yesterday, and what he said was that uh, the wealth that's coming for like prison ministry, for House of Bounty, for for the tent tours is going to come from expected places. He said everybody he thought that was going to give to his building his new church. None of them. Wow. None of the people yeah, that he thought, so oh, it's going to come from this person and this person and this person. None of them gave. It was all from unexpected. So we prophesy right now yeah. at 5 o'clock in the morning, unexpected, Jesus unexpected name. springs of wealth yes. springing up for your project, for your vision, for the dream God's put in your heart. And the Lord is saying, you need to sow more. You need to become a, like a, a massive radical giver because as you you know, cast your bread into the waters, you'll see it return to you in many days, as Ecclesiastes says. And so expect that as you're casting, that every time you throw out a, a seed, that you cast out your line by throwing out a seed, by giving, when you reel it back in, it's going to multiply. So imagine how many times you're going to pull in uh, a group of fish, a multiplied fish, because you cast here, and then you cast there, and then you cast there, this and then you cast so there. Good. So good. become a radical giver and expect radical return. Amen. So good. And when he's in the room, there's always an encounter, man. So good. I know. It just shows you what happens when you hang out with people that carry the glory. Yeah. That are authentic, too. I know. That's the thing, right? He actually told me last night, he said, Katie, we love you <laughs> because you're a friend. Because you want to see me succeed. He's like, so you want to see me succeed, you know? So you help me succeed. So, so I took that as a big compliment from a major then apostle. Even Joshua Mills reaching out to you all at the same, in the same breath was pretty cool. Oh my too. gosh, Joshua. So I get the news that my pardon has been denied after we waited years. And we, we filed that pardon like, I don't know, eight years ago. After years and years of waiting, I get the news that my pardon gets denied. Right? So then a week later, Joshua doesn't know this. And I've known Joshua for, I don't know, 20 years maybe. He doesn't know this. And he, I've never talked to him about it. And he texts me and says, I want you to come and and do our big meeting in Canada this year. Can you, are you open? And I'm like, I can't go to Canada. When I went to Canada the last time, they detained me at the border and kicked me out, right? So I'm like, I can't go. And he goes, oh my gosh, he goes, I have friends in the CSIS, right? Which is Canada's like home, yeah, homeland, homeland security. security. So he went and talked to him. And uh, he texted me last night and he said, right after the show with Nikki, and he texted me last night and he said, um, so I talked to my friends and they said, it's all about your record at Homeland Security in America. They get in, they get, they get real time Absolutely. downloads, access to Homeland Security's records real, in real time. That's how they vet whether or not you can come in or out. They said if your stuff in America gets taken off the record, then you'll be able to come. Well, I've got FBI record, Homeland, I'm on Homeland, right, for my F, with my FBI record. So. For him to like, then he, he sent me another text and he said, I didn't know any of this. I'm, I feel the glory. I'm going to pray. So he made a powerful prayer. And I was like, wow, you know what? This has got to be the Lord. I just found out after like eight years that I, you know, my pardon's denied. And then all of a sudden you invite me to Canada. And now you're praying into the glory and decreeing into the glory for me right now. And you know your friends at CSIS. It's, it's like something's going to happen. And he was like, I, I, so he texted back, he goes, I'm feeling extraordinary favor, something unusual is going to happen, it's going to be totally supernatural, totally God, totally unexpected, so I totally receive it. Jesus. <laughs> Bye, him.
Oh my Listen, God. this is the grossest. This is the grossest thing ever. Okay, when witches really do ride brooms. You know where that came from? They would actually take this, these things, and they put this, this hallucinogenic uh -huh. ointment on it and put it in. You know where? Uh huh. Uh -huh. That's how they get witches riding a broom, uh -huh. and that's how they they go into an ecstatic state. And then that enables them to ascend and travel through the spirit. Mm. And so when you see them, when you're in the spirit, they're literally riding their brooms. But wow. yeah, that's, that's nasty. That's crazy. That is nasty. Yeah, that's their astral yeah. projection, man. Yeah. It literally, that's a that's historical fact. That's yeah. that is. Pukey pathetic. <laughs> like I'm gonna. Take your broom and whack you over the head with it. Okay. <laughs> Witches get stitches. Right? Oh my gosh. People be saying, you just gotta love on them. I'll love on them after I beat them. Because <laughs> they beat us, man. Yeah. They be attacking us and stuff. Yeah. You know, snap out of it. Friday. Get your paws off me, girl. Yeah. Before I rip them claws, those nails right off your fingers. Yeah. Yeah, for real, for real. Yeah. <sighs> That's what happens when you're in full-time ministry. You American 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 American? And you start working for Katie yes. Souza. <laughs> Say hello. It's Welcome, like, Warfare. Here welcome we are. to my world. <laughs> oh, oh, my pretty... <laughs> You and your little dog too. And you, and Sven, poor Sven, <laughs> getting attacked. Sven. Oh my gosh. Poor Sven. Sven. Poor us. We talked about the dinosaur. Sven for. might be an agent. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 Sven is not oh, an agent. Boy. He's been anointed and <laughs> chosen for such a time oh, as this. Oh my god. Stop it. <laughs> Look, it's the dinosaur blade. And it glows in the dark. <laughs> oh my god. Stop. <laughs> Do you ever get people that's energetic this early in the morning? Normally I get told I'm the one who's energetic. Oh, okay. not today. That's good. Well, today, the hey, table is Hey, the cool. What's up? Yeah, it's a little, <laughs> little chill chill. <laughs> a little chill, chill. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's too early. I know. Yeah, sit right back and you hear it. <laughs> it's a little painful trip. <laughs> now she's not going to know how to get on camera. this tropical aboard this tiny ship. Jesus. <laughs> Gilligan's Island in the middle of the airport. Oh man, who has a boat in the airport? Naples, Florida. <laughs> You gotta try these. These are awesome. Oh, yeah. What do you want? Yeah. Zero sugar. Uh, oh, can I do lemon. the orange one, please? Orange. Yes, please. Okay. I'm gonna get a lemon for Mina, I think. But she, you think she wants a dragon root? <laughs> no. Nah, probably okay. not a dragon. And these are awesome. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. <laughs> Guess what I got? Oh, you got the juice! The juice! The They're so good. I love them. So okay, good. I got you a lemon. Yeah, that works. Good. Yep. Okay, and you have an orange. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, and I got two because I'm greedy. Because I'm greedy. These are so good. All right. But see, last time we were here, we took communion. We had emergency prayer. <laughs> We call oh my Arizona. god, it showed up in my favorites, so I don't even need to worry about it. Praise what are you talking about? Uh, your latte. Oh, yeah. No way. 
okay. Yeah. And technology's scary when they know what your coffee is and it shows up in your favorites without you putting it there. Somebody's pushing buttons behind the scene. It's kind of crazy. I don't know. I'm not going to count it right now. I'm just going to wait. <laughs> is anybody looking for No, well, that's the thing. If anybody is, we're going to return it. But I said, Lord, if, they, if they're already on their flight, may they return a thousand folds, whatever they lost. No, it fell out of I, I saw a fall. Oh, so it's, it's not It mine. is her money? I think you dropped it. Oh, oh I dropped it? Yeah. Look well, at guess what? You found it, so let's find out how much money you made. <laughs> Look, she did the whole she did the whole step on it method. <laughs> it was like Jesus. Twenty six dollars. No, no, it's more than that. Oh. It's like a hundred and twenty six dollars. Oh, oh Jesus! Wow, Katie's blessing herself. <laughs> she just has cash in random places. You gotta stop doing that. Forty, <laughs> sixty, eighty. Ninety-one dollars. Ninety-one dollars. Look, that's half of your insurance payment. Please do not spend that on anything else but your insurance. I don't want to hear about that anymore. Hashtag it be hard out in these streets. <laughs> she works hard for the money. I found money. I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, yes. I don't know how much it is. If they don't come to get it, we're gonna keep it. Oh, it's my money. <laughs> Jamar's like, I saw it fall. I'm I like, told oh. you there's money on the floor. I know, but I thought there was just like money on the floor that I found. I was like, no. oh my it God, my Jesus, <laughs> is that you? Would you next time like shortcut and say, Kate, you dropped a bunch of cash? <laughs> well, like, I, thought I, said, I said, you dropped money and then I went with you to get water. I didn't know she was having a whole moral crisis. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. A moral crisis. <laughs> It was ninety one dollars, so it was Psalm ninety one. Oh, Psalm ninety one. He good. who stays in the shadow of the Almighty shall abide. A thousand will fall at his side, ten thousand at his right hand. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's good. It's good. <laughs> money, money, hey, money, <laughs> money, hey, money. Hey. Let's, let's get it. <laughs> oh my God. Refund, hey, refund, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I feel good. <laughs> so I was at Mystery and Miracles. It was in Kansas. And nobody was mind. actually getting manifestation. Yeah, we will. And uh, so I told them, you got to start moving around. And they would do this. You know, I go, move around and test. And they were like, no, I didn't get it. <laughs> no, nothing happened. And I was like, man, you need to start moving. And so I said, you need to start wiggling. You know, like wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> Wiggle, 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 wiggle. And then the, the band jumped in. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. And so now everybody's, and now I'm like, get up. And everybody's like, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. So a guy's butt muscle grew back. A lady, I mean, literally, he lost it. It was flat. It popped out. And a lady in a wheelchair gets out of the wheelchair. Her spine totally straightens up. Wow. She's got no pain. I mean, it's crazy. Wiggle wiggle song. I had him wiggle wiggle for like 15 minutes. What are those guys from the Disney Channel that has the the wiggles? The the what are, what are they called? Um, the brothers or whatever. The William brothers. The Wiggle brothers. The, no. Isn't it something like that? I have cable going up. Sorry. <laughs> We said I didn't have cable. I can help you with that one. You didn't? I know. The squiggly, the squiggly are. lines were the favorite episode. Horrible. <laughs> $60 pillow. Nobody be taking my pillow from me. Oh, God, Jesus. Seriously, nothing worse than a legalistic person oh, at the what? ticket counter. <laughs> Where's Delta when you need it? Delta, 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 Delta. Maybe they'll sponsor us. Oh this reality show is sponsored by Delta Airlines. What are we doing? I'm get water. Oh, you want to get a water? Okay. Now it's duck. 
Now it's sticky. What does that mean? Nowitzki, that's Dirk Nowitzki. Nowitzki? Yeah, I think this is a restaurant. Is that a person? Yeah, it's an NBA player. Oh. That's Dirk Nowitzki. Oh, okay. And he's got his own thing at the airport, huh? <laughs> oh, this is Dallas. Yeah, because he played for the Dallas Mavericks. Oh, is that why? Yeah. Oh, look at him. He wants to take a picture. Take a <laughs> photo with Dirk Nowitzki. Oh, come on, let's do it. Come on, ready? <laughs> I don't know who this guy is, but this little AI thing. Okay, ready? Touch to start. Look, he's beckoning me to come. He's like, come on, come on, let's take a picture. Okay, go. Go, Dirk. How much is it going to cost? <laughs> Stand on the marker. Where's the marker? Am I looking up at him? <laughs> yes, you are. Did I get it? Let's see how... Wow. I'm screaming. Wow. <laughs> oh, I was supposed to put my fist bump. Skip. Oh, you tried to fist we gotta bump do it again. Me. Ready? Skip. 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 Okay, ready? We're gonna try it again. Let's just start. Okay. Put your feet on the marker. Oh, you actually get. Sound like some good knuckles. Did it? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Text it. It's genius. I am 13 years old. That is. He wants to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> he, has, he can't get enough of me. <laughs> Dirt <laughs> green and can't get enough of me. His favorite photo. <laughs> oh wow. Do you see that? What? That's so crazy. Yeah. The screen inside of the column, they've installed us. All right. Would you like your seat swab? Because, man, people are gross. Mm. <laughs> Swabbing. People say that I'm doing this because of COVID. I was doing this t for 10 years before COVID. Because every seat in the airport and in the airplane is nasty. Okay. Just as I promised in my word, I will not only return to you what has been lost, but I will also multiply it abundantly. All the trials and hardships you've endured, the misunderstandings and discouragements, even the moments of despair, will not be in vain. <clears throat> they will be transformed to your, into your greatest triumphs in my kingdom. For those who have suffered in me, they shall reign with me. Your cave of Agilum, the place of isolation and testing, is now becoming your cave of abundance. I'm propelling you forward into every good work, and the obstacles that have held you back will now pave the way for your future. You ride the waves of breakthrough. Behold, I'm enlarging your territories, expanding your influence beyond what you can imagine. The boundaries that have constrained you are being pushed back. You will step into new lands, enter new spaces as you never dreamed of, and your horizons will be broadened upon your wildest imagination. I'm enlarging your vision to see as I see, to perceive the vast expanses of possibilities and promises that I've prepared for you. Prepare yourself for I'm about to pour out an unprecedented increase in your life. It will not be a small measure, but an overflowing abundance. You will be unable to contain all that I'm about to release into your life. I am the God of more than enough, and I'm preparing to pour out blessings that surpass your understanding. Trust in me, for I am faithful to fulfill my promises. Stand firm in the assurance that I, the Lord, your God, take great delight in blessing you. I am bringing you into a season of abundance. A season of reclaiming what is rightfully yours and a season of expanding territories. Prophet Charlie Shemp. Wow. That's powerful. It's kind of what Nate Johnson's been talking about this whole new season. Wow. Oh, Arizona! Oh, Arizona! Arizona! Come on! Here we go, here we go! Oh, oh! Here we go, here we go! No five and a half hour flights by the rest, no way! No way! Here we go! <laughs> Dude! Look at how pretty you are. 
You look great. Look at her hair. Very pretty. Yes. Yeah, she's finally just looking like mom does. Hi, mom. Hi. How are you? So good. How you doing? Good. Good. I'm glad. Yeah, you look beautiful, as always. Yeah. Does it? It's dark, but thank you, honey. How are you? Everybody, Lord, thank you for this family, friends that we all that we have spent many years with, and bless this food in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hi, Carol. Hi, daughter Sienna. So we got three generations. Okay, I'm here. Yeah, right here. Okay. How you doing? Hey, you're good. Very good. Very nice to meet you. Bye, honey. Love you. Oh my gosh. Love you so much. Love you. This is my general. Oh, hey, Rock star peeing. Oh. Rock star peeing, right? <laughs> I love you, That's girl. Dr. Katie. You look the same. You have not aged one, well, one you, little instant. You have not aged. I'm not supposed to. No, I know. We're superhuman. <laughs> I'm going to ride my bike to on 90. Hello? We Don't saved you a seat on. by Barb. I know. Who are you? Ooh. Hi. Ooh. Me and them. Me and, um, Someone said it rode together. We said it rode together. I can't say it like that. How are you guys living? Are you living? Thank you. Hi, Dad. 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 Hi, Look at us. We we got to be around each other like twice in a couple months. Okay, everybody. This is Ashton Stokes. Actually, out of everybody in this whole table, I've known Ashton the longest. What are you doing? This is Dad. Dad is the original person to get behind the ministry vision. Twenty years ago, Dad. About that, huh? Whenever you bailed out. Whenever I bailed. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I'm gonna kick you in the teeth, Dad. But, uh, yeah, he's the um, first person to ever believe in us, one of the first people to ever believe in us. Right after Gene and John Mulquin. I've known Gene and John a little bit longer than I've known Dad. And uh, we were the one. Yeah, we yeah, He introduced me to Patricia King. Okay. So, everybody introduce yourself to Ashton. I met her. I was in a lot of pain. I used to be in a wheelchair for many years. Wow. And, um, and I went to everybody. Bob Larson, I mean, you, you name it, I've been to it. And, um, and I never got healed, ever. So my mom actually used to be part of the Bob Larson ministry. A long time ago, before, well, at the beginning. Anyway, so then, um, my mom was down and she's like, I wanted to lay down because I was hurting and she's like, oh, there's this lady, her mom got healed, you should, you should have her go pray for you. And, oh, I, yeah. and I was like, Mom, I just laid down. And she's like, okay, but I think you should go. And I'm like, I don't want to go. I don't want someone to lay down. She's like, okay, but I think you should go. And I'm like, I'm not going. So she's like, okay. So she left. And Mom was like, fine. So I got up, went downstairs, and Katie was still talking. And I'm like, ugh. Oh, no. you know, Shut up. I'm in the front row, and I'm sitting here like, uh, uh, you know. And then I was listening to Katie for a little bit, and then I just remember saying to my mom, and I go, do you think that she'll pay for me, Mom? And she goes, I don't know, honey. Ask her. I go, you ask her. <laughs> so, and the next thing I know, I don't even know how I got, but I was right in front of her. And she was praying for somebody, and she turns around, and she goes. because <laughs> she's like six foot something. And then Skyscraper. Goes, and then she's like, I see um, Babylon. Da, 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 da. And I was like, 
okay. <laughs> you know? And so she prayed for me or whatever, and then, um, well, that was it, really. And, and then I sat down. You know, I go expecting, but not expecting anymore, right? So then, um, so then, like, three days later, um, I went to go get, like, dog food or something, and my husband's like, where's April? And here I come walking around the corner with this big thing of dog food on my shoulder, like, do to do to do and he's like, what the heck? And then realized that it was because of Katie, and she prayed for me, right? So then, I was so excited. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And I called, and I was like, what can I do? What can I do to be part of the ministry? I was so excited. And then I wanted to tell everybody. This is okay. I would get this. I wanted to tell everybody about what this woman, the nuggets that she has that God's given her, right? Yeah. So I'm telling everybody. My mom had her own ministry, a lot of healing at my mom's ministry all the time. And so I was telling everybody at my mom's ministry, like, oh, and there's this, and you have to hear and 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 then I guess somebody was like, oh, she's selling Katie's, she's selling Katie's stuff. So, do you remember that? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Right. Yep. There was a big old scene but about I that. that. I didn't know it was all behind the scenes. I didn't know any of that. What's I was your Somebody was telling us, there's some lady and she's selling all your stuff. I'm like, good. Maybe somebody will listen to it. Whereas, like, I think I made copies of one of her things. I'm like, you have to hear this. You have to hear everybody, right? Just give it away all the yeah. stuff. And so, and then I wanted to partner, so we partnered at that little church or whatever. Yeah, we went to this little church. Yeah. And so, uh, I, and then, and then I got a call from Stephanie, and I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, they just called me, you know? I can't believe it. Oh my god. Um, so when Stephanie called, I was like, um, so excited, and then she, she was like. Your credit card's not going through. And I was like, oh, well, that was it. Oh, 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 no, you thought it was something else. Oh, no, I didn't. I never heard that part. You did it? No. That's all right. And then I know I was talking to her about something. And then she said, well, we're going to do another conference over at like a hotel. You know, would you like to help? And I was like, yes. So that I, I was helping with the ice and the green room. And I was like, oh, okay, you know, I made the most of it or whatever. But then like all of the stuff started happening at like her table and I just kind of took over. Oh uh, no, Did not you. you. And I was like, okay, so we need to do this and we need to do that to all of the volunteers. And then, um, and then afterwards, Katie washed everybody's feet like in the back room. Yeah, and it was so amazing. And so, anyways, um, I was just like, I just, I have to be a part of this ministry. And then a little bit later, Stephanie and Katie called and said, Hey, what do you think about being our events coordinator? And they're like, Just pray about it. Pray about it. Get confirmation. And I go, You are my confirmation. And then that was it. Yep. I wrote I wrote the captivity series in prison. In prison. Yeah. And, and like I said, I would write it out by hand. I'd send it to my mom, and my mom would then send it to Teresa in the prison she was in. She corrected, send it back to my mom, and then my mom would send it to me, and then I make corrections, and I keep on going like that. We did that for like 13 chapters for like a year and a half. Wow. The, the captivity series. The captivity series. The original book. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is a big day. My big day is when I had that word from the Lord that I was going to get out of prison on November 22nd. Oh, I mean, yeah, November 21st. And then it happened. But it was um, two years? After. Yeah, it was a, It was the... Because you were supposed yeah. to do something and you didn't know and you were telling everybody. And well, I got the... Yeah, exactly. I got the number 57 and that's yeah. the days I counted off on the calendar and it landed on November 21st. So I said, I'm going to get out on November 21st. Well, it didn't happen, but then it happened next year on yes. November 21st, which was my 57th month in captivity. Yeah, I know you can't yeah. make this yeah, stuff you up. you can't make that stuff Right, you can't make this stuff up. Especially when they were going after you and going, we're going to get you for another 30 Oh, they were going to give me 20 or something 20, like that. They were going to give me 20 go, years. We're going to separate them all instead of putting them all together. Yeah, in. they were going to give us more time. And that's when I heard the Lord speak. He said, all who rage against you will be as nothing. 
That was from Isaiah about Cyrus. And I turned and looked at my, my lawyer and I went, Let's do it. <laughs> Go for it. And he's like, okay. Yeah. What I love about the prisons, and I know you guys know. They're my favorite. Because, man, you pray for somebody for two or three minutes, and the metal disappears, yeah, and, the, and the tumor disappears, so, uh, and the cancer they're comes so out. They're so yeah, so hungry. And yeah. even if they, they don't even understand it, one guy was like, I'm not having that lady lay hands on me. Right. He got healed of cancer. Yeah. His yeah. balls. He said, my balls are, are swollen. My balls are swollen, and I can't walk. Yeah. And the balls went, yeah. and he ran around yeah. the entire gym. Testimony. Yeah. Yes. That's why it goes big. And he started jumping up and down, and and he got up on stage and he was like, "I'm telling you, God is real. God is real. I'm gonna preach you. You need to accept the Lord Jesus Christ." Can you imagine though, him telling this testimony to his guy friends? Oh yeah, man. He was they know he's not lying. Exactly. He he was. They were the ones trying to get him to get up there so I could pray and when I got up there I came early and I said and they were guys dripping in and I said who has cancer or metal and they were like dude that's go 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 I was like I'm going up there <laughs> they're like get up there now and he came up he's all he's all like mad about it yeah well I got cancer my balls are swollen I can hardly walk <laughs> like that yes. you know yes. you guys were playing in the background while I was working the miracles yes. that was really good wow really yeah. oh yeah oh yeah it was, it was so They powerful. were jamming, it practicing. Was powerful. Cool. It was I'm going to go early from now on. Because yeah. when I they start coming in. I think you hit on something. I did. I hit on I something. I think you hit on something. Because what happens is by the time the crowd yeah. comes in, yeah. no, we we'll already have metal disappearing. Exactly. And, I, yeah. and there's yeah. just a shift. There it was total, a total shift. Yeah. Even with the girls, the girls were all like this when we came in. Yep. Yeah. They're the cocky yeah. ones. They had an attitude. Bad. No. Yeah, no. But as soon as the metal started disappearing. Yeah. Yeah, that one girl though, when the bullet disappeared from her leg, they were like, um, she's lying, she's faking. We caught her on film saying, they be saying I'm faking it. I ain't faking it, that's the devil. She said that. And then we came up and we metal detected her. That shut everybody up. Oh, I got to, did that's you it. pray with the, um, what did they call me, yard dog? Did you get to, oh. What yard dog? Which one? And the, at the women's prison, she was standing off by herself. The Lord led me over to her. I didn't know who she was. And she was yard dog. Yep. Oh my God. Real? She's she's like yeah. I get that that's not the first time that's happened. <laughs> I wish not I the first time that's that happened. Man. But I felt that same anointing when a, on a, when one of the men's prisons that we went to. When we prayed for yard dog. Yes. Shot caller. Person that's a shot caller. Yes, that's what. That's what person that controls the yard. Oh, he's in charge of all the inmates. Yeah, An inmate who's in charge just, of inmates. Just, yeah. By their own, yeah. not by yeah. police, but I mean, by their yeah. own. Yeah. Really? By their own authority. Because yeah. there's somebody on the street. Yeah. Or, you know. She knew she was going to prison, so she tried to kill herself. Shot herself in the chest. And <clears throat> went to the hospital, they repaired it. And she, what With she a 45. Called, yeah. Oh I didn't wow. know what. But <clears throat> they, they got her all fixed up, and they... they you knitted her back together, but it was like wire in there. She calls it her chicken wire. Mm -hmm. She said it felt like chicken wire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so so Good. Because she blasted open her chest, right? She yes. blasted it open. She, so that she didn't have to go to prison. So she wouldn't have to go. But they fixed her and took her to prison anyway. Yeah. yeah. So she has this big old long scar. Mm -hmm. She could feel the wire with her fingers. And I looked at her and said, that wire's going to disappear. And then I walked away from her. So then all... Yeah. Well, first tell what happened when we walked into the building, and well, then I'll tell the rest. It was of so powerful when we walked in that building. We because they started, they were just worshiping before worshiping. we got there, yeah, worshiping. That's and that's cool. all we did. Yeah. That's all we did, and we just and then the Katie came up to the platform. They formed a line for healing, so we she never preached, just the presence of the Lord and the so, same song. Oh, right. but there you was, deserve it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You deserve it. Deserve it. That one. J.J. Harrelson. It was, it was That place was rumbling when we came it, in. Yes. Oh, yeah. Rumbling. I mean, we didn't. The we building was in. like. We just walked into the glory. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. The anticipation <laughs> oh, man. of what God is going yeah. to do when yeah. Katie got in that room. Yeah. And, and that um, was in a prison. Oh, you know, yeah. That, that oh, yeah. happened just. Oh, yeah, man. Just, so they were so excited. And she yeah. just went up there and they, she's like, she asked me, what do I do? I'm like, 
worship and you pray for people. <laughs> so that's what we did. I didn't do anything. We that was crazy. We didn't do it all. The Lord did the whole thing. He did it. I maybe talked for 15 minutes, that's it. And then people saw, and then all kinds of water explosion happened, all kinds of miracle. One lady stood up, she goes, I used to have these big hernias right here underneath, but now, for the first time ever, my boobs are bigger than my hernia. That's right. <laughs> Man, tailbones were moving in place. I said, five people here, and you have a tailbone that's out of place. Five people stood up. Well, four people stood up. I said, there's only, there's one more. Somebody else, who is it? There's this girl behind me, she goes, I don't believe. I said, stand up. So Holy good. Spirit came and so moved good. their tailbones from a ball to flat, like it's supposed to be into place. So there's another lady that had the metal rod in her neck, and she oh, couldn't move yeah. it. Oh yeah. So she's walking around following me. She can't move her neck, so she's going, Kitty, pray for me. Oh yeah. Kitty, yeah. Kitty, yeah. wait, pray for me, Kitty, Kitty, pray for me. Yeah. And I'm looking at her, I'm like, I can't do it yet. It's not going to work, right? So everybody gets in the line, and we're coming down to the end of it, and she's the last one in line. So I walk up to her. I look at her and she goes, I go, are you ready? She goes, I'm ready, I'm ready. And I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, this is going to be a big one. I got to do something. And then the Lord says, ask about the lady with the chicken wire in her chest. Uh -huh. So where's my chicken wire lady? She raises her hand and I go, touch your chest now. Can you feel that chicken wire? And she goes like this. She touches her chest. She, she didn't goes, even. She didn't even speak. No, it was awesome. She just started bawling. She's just going. And then she finally said, it's gone. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone. And so then after that happened, faith goes up, right? Yeah. So yeah. then I turned to her and I go, now are you ready? She goes, oh, I'm ready. <laughs> and I hear the Lord say, shake her up, right? So I put my hand on top of her head and I went, <laughs> and she's moving her neck, which she couldn't do before. No. And then next thing you know, she feels it, she's turning her neck, the metal rod's totally gone. Remember they carried that one girl that got paralyzed from doing some yoga stretch that it ripped her muscle, back muscle off of her. Oh they God. carried her from her unit into the building. Mm -hmm. During the book signing, during the book signing there was major healings. I prayed for her, she's doing the back bends, she's, everybody's screaming. Oh, then the lady that was a, got caught in an adulterous affair, her husband caught her. He chased her in the street and she was run down by a semi truck. And her arm was hanging limp on her side. I had to work on her for, I don't know, about 15, 20 minutes maybe. And But she could actually do this when it was over. And from what I'm told, it kept on getting better and better after we left. Remember the tree swing? The tree, oh, the tree swing. What prison was that at? I'm like somebody here. You got it was, it fell off that? a tree swing. A tree swing. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? Okay, so yeah. was it? Well, she was paralyzed. She was paralyzed, right? Because then it was from a par It was from a. She fell from. Fell a from a tree, tree swing. swing. Yes. And then That's when she way. walked, she was all the way in the back. She was all the way in the back. And I commanded her to be healed. She stood up and walked to the front. And everyone freaked out. Yeah, they did. They screamed. Right. That's the place with three chaplain, three of the shot callers. The shot callers for the Indians, oh, yeah. the shot callers for the um, African Americans, and the shot callers for the whites. Came into the chaplain afterwards and said, I heard a metal disappeared and all that when dog and that lady came. He goes, it's true. They go, well, we sanction our guys to come to the next meeting and not to make war with each other. Yeah, I remember you talking about that. Because none of them came because of that. Oh, my gosh. So powerful. You just, you just are so yeah. humbled. Like, yeah. they, it's what just gone. What an honor yeah. for those who get to go in with you. I mean, it yeah, it's it like, wow, man. Taking the team in last time was really awesome. It was real and things were like that. So they got to meet on the final day and they said, well, our flight's at five and it was like, meet at three. And she goes, oh, don't worry about it. We'll be a diplomat, um, you know, um, that will take you for the flight. A diplomat, go ahead. So they got to meet and do, you know, praise with, with her. She, he got to give a prophetic word um, about the things that are gonna be happening, about not taking loans, um, um, you know, cause all these com countries are wanna do that and then they'll own you. And, and the, the, um, the president's wife said that Cindy Jacobs gave some of the same um, prophetic words. And there was a huge conference at that particular time that was going on that she was part of that. And then, you know, just being ill, I led a couple of the workers to Christ, um, the hotel. The hotel was the one that 
the president actually owned. And so he was a businessman. So it's totally different. It's a, it's kind of a, you know, we got to see many miracles and pray for a bunch of different people. So it was really, really a great time and just spending time with them. Um, that. So, okay, so very we're, exciting. We're about to run out of time, so I want everybody okay, to pray for mom. Let's go. Kate, Kate, yeah, Katie, I'm praying for mom. I'm going to pray for you, Kate. Okay. All right. Come on, guys. I got some news that I didn't know. Well, yeah, I heard. I heard it's collapsing. So we're going to collapse that structure right now. Okay. Okay, so this is dementia Parkinson's. Is it Parkinson's also? Dementia. No, dementia, uh, dementia uh, Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. Okay, everybody come in. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. All right, I heard it's collapsible, so we're going to collapse the structure of the demonic structure. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, first I release the power of the Holy Spirit to heal mom of any trauma, to heal, to go back through every crisis that she's had to endure, everything that she's had to battle against, everything that might have put an opening, a wound inside her inner man that would have allowed this landing strip to happen, Lord. So you know that this woman has served you faithfully for decades, decades and decades. And now we ask that honor, honor and payback and recompense be distributed to her right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you, Lord, that as the Holy Spirit goes on assignment to heal her soul right now, as we anoint her, the elders of the church anointing her, the sick will be made well. And so we, we decree it that by your stripes, mom's already been healed, you've come to destroy the works of the enemy, and you did so on the cross and the resurrection. And now I speak to that structure, that demonic structure that has set up this diagnosis right now in her mind. And I, I said, you are collapsible. That is the word of the Lord. I speak the word of the Lord that you have to collapse underneath the judgment of the holy court and underneath the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I decree it right now in the name of Jesus, right now, right now, right now, right now. And I ask Lord that that grace would be imparted, mercy would be imparted, and that, that all the tombs in her mind would be filled with light and lightning, and that she would actually be frozen in her entire being so that Legion would have to come out of her mind. Out! Out! Now! 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 I take back this region of her brain from the regional demon's possession in the name of Jesus right now by filling her mind with light, filling her synapses with light, filling her neurons with light, cutting off every trauma tree in her brain in the name of Jesus, pulling those trauma trees out, out of her brain right now in the name of Jesus, filling her mind with light, light, salt, light, fire, fire, salt, light, fire, fire, dunamis power, your excellent soul, mom, your excellent soul, you are excellent soul, and that demonic structure collapse, I command you collapse in the name of Jesus now, and the breath of God, Holy Spirit, quickening her, quickening every cell, quickening her mind, quickening her, filling, filling, filling the Holy Spirit right now. New baptism of the Spirit in the name of Jesus now, now, now. Underneath the wings, okay, go. Everybody start prophesying. Go, whoever's next, go. Right now, I can see the Lord releasing freedom over her right now. That's freedom over her mind. This is freedom over her thoughts right now. Anything that's been taken back from her, Lord, is released right now. Nothing is holding her down anymore. It's a day of victory. It is a day of freedom. I declare freedom over her body right now. I decree freedom over her body right now. Every every cell, every tissue, all information leaves her right now. She is not allowed, the enemy is not allowed to trespass over her. She is not being held captive. I just need freedom. Freedom right now. In Jesus' name. We just pray for a restoration of the Lord. We just, we just declare and decree. Romans um, 12, 1. Do not be conformed to this world, but we renew. Um, renewing of the mind. We just pray that it would be healed and restored right now in the name of Jesus. That it would be all new. We pray for creative miracles, that it would be made new. And we just know that um, you are in control, that you have all under your um, footsteps. And we just pray for that healing. Because she is healing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 
regeneration. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I lose her from this assignment. I lose her from this assignment. I lose her from this assignment. Extension of life. Extension of life. Extension of life in the name of Jesus. Extension of life. Extension of life. Extension of life in the name of Jesus. Extension of life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. What the enemy has tried to rob, steal, and destroy, you just have come to give life and life more abundantly. And Lord God, we just thank you. Thank you for the resurrection power, your demon power, restoring every brain tissue in her mind, every gen right branch in her brain, and heal by the blood of Jesus Christ and the resurrection power. Thank you, Father God. She is totally healed. She is totally restored. She will be like as in her youth, as Katie always tells us. Memory bank right now. I decree you're delivered. The region of the memory bank right now. Delivered. I, 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 I cause those tombs to be burned up with light and fire right now. Memory bank come to life. Memory bank store memories as you're supposed to. Short term, long term. Short term, long term. Short term, long term. Remember, 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 remember. Recall, 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 recall in the name of Jesus. Right now, right now. Right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Thank you, Jesus, right now. Right now, Jesus, right now. Right now, Jesus, right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus, right now. Like fire, ice, like fire, ice, like ice. Holy Spirit, 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 Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, 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 loose, loose by grace, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, loose by grace, Holy Spirit, loose by grace, Holy Spirit, loose, loose. They said that Mikey, she should know about her parents. Well, we just took authority over that generational spirit right now. We're breaking, we just release the dunamis power to flood your family line all the way back to Adam in the name of Jesus. Father, the sword is trauma. If you go, out of your family line in the name of Jesus and that all your soul wounds be healed all their soul wounds be healed right now in the name of Jesus going back, 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 back in the generation in the name you break the power of the same you break the power of even in agreement with it in the right name. now in, in the Jesus' name. name in the name thank you Father in the name thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Jesus thank you Lord thank you God <laughs> I don't know if you made it better or worse. <laughs> Trying to restore the hair that yeah. was taken down by the prayer. That's okay. <laughs> Dad, do you have anything? I looked at you and I thought you were You look like you do. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, mm -hmm. You're so good. <clears throat> yeah, <Jesus. coughs> A couple of days ago, I was praying. I said, Father. And it's really that power for mm -hmm. healing. Mm -hmm. And I heard the response back. All she needed is to eat. That's the thing. Oh no, God, I pray for you. <coughs> A strong load of faith. Yeah. Faith to believe. Mm -hmm. Because you're the miracle worker. You can do whatever you want. And so I count on you. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, so How are you? What you've done for us, what you want to do for us, what you've prepared for us in the future. Yeah. Lord, we'll to live with you and enjoy. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you.
Okay, cool. So we're going to take him to the hotel and yep. then take him to the hotel, take him to the house, house to get him set up. And this let me know if Suzanne's going to show up. Yeah. Or, uh, you send me the address. Yes. Right? Uh -huh. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> this, is a, this is a new feeling. Wait, I have to get my bag out of the car. <laughs>